Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our judge and coaches to the field of play as we're about to get back underway with the recurve mixed team bronze medal final here in Yankton. Shooting for the United States of America, please welcome Savannah Vanderweer. And the number one ranked recurve shooter in the world, this is Brady Ellison. And shooting for the bronze medal, please welcome Great Britain, Brownie Pittman, and Patrick Houston. Yes, yeah, so here we go. Time for you to get excited, Lucy, too, with two of your compatriots out there. Yeah, they are, both of them have had such a good season. You know, Patrick's Our just world won archery the judge tour. for this match will be Liz Perez. And we're about to get underway. And Bryony, her world ranking is incredible this year. So, yeah, I'm excited to see, see the Great Britain guys go against you know, some incredible USA archers. Absolutely. Brian Pittman, world ranking is two at the moment. Really come up the rankings the last 12 months. Patrick Houston currently at 20 in recurve archery. And even, of course, Brady Ellison, as you heard, is number one. We used to see him for number one for some time. And Savannah van der Weer is 30. Once again, an array of four targets six. will decide the bronze uh, medal no, winners on, we'll, here we'll, in Yankton today at the World Archery World Field Archery Championships. 21 and in we are looking archery. at She's a the number one recurve mixed team from down the, the qualifying rankings, round a little in the bit USA in and the number three archery, but here she is today in the, with the recurve bow in, in her hand. So Great interesting Britain to see taking on each other she today. Goes. So our gold medal final coming up after match. this has France versus Italy. With these two, France beating the USA by a single point in the semi-final, 78 to 77, and Italy just beating Great Britain. Long-time USA competitor Heather Cole 81. is coaching for the United States on this round. So let's see how these uh, four very accomplished archers go. And uh, Brady Ellison. He's going Brady to go Ellison first. Brady Ellison to shoot on the first shot. It's a downhill shot on a quad. Brady opens with a four on that first shot. The thing I love about these uh, four archers too, I mean, Brady Ellison in particular on a wonderful record. As they're out there giving it a crack. Uh, now, Brady Ellison loves field archery as much as target archery, Lucy. Yeah, it's uh, really interesting to see that you know, all of these archers really, really accomplished in the target circuit. Savannah and then here they Vanderweer are. of the United States of you know, America. Bronze medal match for field archery. Four points on that shot for Savannah. Savannah is well known as a top compound shooter. She picked up a recurve bow a little over a year ago and switched hands, shooting a recurve right handed. So Patrick Houston now, the 26 year old, originally a highly experienced from Northern Pat Ireland. Houston of GBR, Great Britain. Here he is, the two-time Olympian. Pat with what looks like a six. Yeah, beautiful start. Yeah, and he's a five-time national tour winner as well, which is, you know, Brian for Pittman, the British DDR, circuit, it's huge. Top yeah, he's got great record in world with a field championships too. He's uh, won two medals in the past, gold in the teams 2014. Bronze is in the individual 2016. And Brian is shooting with uh, what looks like a 3-4 liner. And now Brian Pittman, who's started with potentially a 4 there. And what about her rise up the rankings this year, Lucy? Amazing. Oh, she's had such a good season. It's so lovely to watch as well because, you know, she's such a hard worker. She just keeps going. And, and yeah, it's, the hard work's paid off. It's number two in the world now. Incredible. Six points for Brady. 
just grabbed the line there for Allison. So he has his first maximum of this bronze medal mixed teams recurve match. Now Savannah and Weir. Savannah with a three on that shot. Didn't like it, but uh, so the Americans are going to lock in. It looks like uh, 17 in this first end. Now Houston, who started superbly, wanted to follow up that six with another one. And that's a five. He was lucky with that. He was long on the hold there. But um, th this target seems to be a lot trickier for, for the Ricos than it did the Bear Bows. Number the two Bear ranked archer in the world, Brownie Pittman. 21 points and 19 points. So I think, you know, obviously you've got to bear in, f in mind that the, the long rods get in the way. And, and this is quite close to the platform here. And a six. Great Britain with a three-point advantage unofficially yeah, great right now. start for Great United Britain. They're strong. With one liner First in for them. Point. We'll find out after official scoring in just a few moments. The other side of the platform for the second target, which is a much further distance. And that one. Some of the uh, archery stars like we're seeing here today. Strong will start be there, 20 to 17, the uh, provisionally the, uh, after that first week. end. In Mexico. At Tlaxcala for the World Cup final, including Brady Ellison, including Brian Pittman. That gives you a great example of how small that target is, Lucy. It's just 20 centimeters in diameter. It's tiny. So tiny. And and yet they've the everyone's had final. such we'll a good end. Worldwide. This on the Olympic Channel here in the United States. You'll be able to catch that action. And that starts next week. I think uh, the archers are coming into the target number two now. This is going to be the, uh, this is one of the trickier shots. I've seen quite a few experienced people struggle, so. Um, Interesting to see how these World Cup athletes will will cope. Exactly. Yeah, they're still above the target, but it's not quite the, the downward incline that we see from that first one, which is pretty close. It's only 20 metres from the platform. This one's a lot further Our away. Competitor and coach John not coaching for Great Britain right now. So 21 to 17, the Great Britain team had an upgrade on their third arrow in that first end. So they got a four point lead as Brady Allison starts the second end. Solid shot from Brady Ellison, it's a five. The target face much bigger with the much longer distance this time. Six. Nice That's shot from lovely, Savannah. Lovely shot. It's amazing. It's so impressive that, you know, she's just come from compound and, and yet she's already so accomplished in the recurve. Yeah, she's young, isn't she? 22. So... I guess keen to maybe make it in the Olympic Games at some stage. Here's Houston. That is a long hold from Three him. points from Pat. Yeah, Patrick not looking so comfortable at the moment. So, um... We'll see what he does on his second sh shot for this target. Bryony Pittman. 
Three points for Briny. Different One target, of course, in field right archery. Now. Off target face to target archery. So a two-point deficit, a four-point deficit, suddenly turned into a one-point lead for the, the Americans. Four points. Savannah strikes again. Six points. Oh, two terrific arrows from Savannah Van der Weer. Two sixes. Big, big scores there for the Americans. No wonder she's smiling. Pat with a five. So that will that will really give him some confidence, and it will help Bryony as well for her next shot. You know, it helps if your teammate is in the right place; they can give you some guidance. Four points for Bryony. Thirty-six points on the board for Great Britain. Thirty-eight points on the board for the United States of America. With a pair of sixes. Oh, there's one line licker there Savannah. on the Americans' target face, but not like it was a. And as usual in the. Five, uh, that first arrow. As usual from in the mixed team matches, you will notice the <laughs> ladies are out shooting the gentlemen once again. Happens all the time. Don't know why, just the way so, it is. So, remember, it was 21 to 17 to Britain after that first end. And it looks like uh, the Americans have gained six points there, Lucy, to take a two point lead at the halfway stage. That was so important for the Americans, right, you know, that target. Fruit. Let's they, hear it for Team really USA. Swung. Team GBR. Swung that lead there. USA. GBR. USA. GBR. Oh, here come the archers onto the flat now. Hey, John, mind the well, grass say down the flat. There. This is the most uh, horizontal of the, of the targets that we have. That last one, steep incline up into the trees. It's going to be interesting to see how that uh, plays out. This is the bronze medal match in the mixed teams. And number three competition. is competition. We've got the gold medal match coming up shortly between France and Italy. Ronnie Pittman and Patrick Houston will be shooting first. We need to bear in mind that this is a really long season for all these archers. It's October now, and they're still outside. You know, usually you go start going into indoor archery in September, end of September, and they've they've got the World Field Championships. It's now, you know, beginning of October, and then. Some of these guys have got the World Cup finals coming up as well. It's a long season for them. Yeah, it sure is. Here is Houston. Start off the third end. Six points for Pat. It was 38 to 36 to the Americans after the halfway stage. So, John not supplying some shade to his shooters. See if Pittman can follow Houston's fine start to the third end. Solid shot from Briney, and it's a five. Yeah, this this target is a 
the archers seem to to get on well with this target but Lady interesting Allison to see the sun the United States of America is the number one ranked recurve shooter in the around. world right now getting ready to head to Mexico for yet another World Cup final Yeah, who knew, who knew Lucy, that a clipboard would be as handy as this? <laughs> so handy. And interesting that, you know, as the day goes on, this clipboard is needed on this shot, not and just the last shot as well. Liner. That'll be interesting to see if that arrow gets an upgrade. Four star at the moment. Remarkable we'll give that one. Vanderweer, top compound shooter, switch to recurve. Switched hands doing it too. Oh, yeah. Another six. Oh, interesting to hear. She switched hands too. That's incredible uh, from Vanderweer. And she is absolutely on fire at the moment. Three sixes in a row. She is doing amazingly today. She had a, a bit of a shaky start on the... Uh, on the on the target number one, the twenty centimeters, but yeah, since then she's really found her found her form. Well, Houston really needs another Pat Houston six or five here minimum. Like a liner, it's a four five. It's probably a four, but we're going to give it a provisional here. Well, Houston may be getting a five there. We'll see. Ryan getting ready to shoot. Just having a look himself through his binoculars. As Pittman steps up again. No time wasted for Brian and Pittman. Looks like a five from here. A two so fives for Pittman on, on that end. For Great Britain, United States of America with an opportunity here as Brady Ellison prepares to shoot. Yeah, much better shooting from the Brits here. Six points. But it's uh, tough to beat when uh, your, your opposition so are putting in maximum Savannah. score. Yeah, perfect time for Alison to get a maximum. Can Van der Weer had another six here? Get four on the trot. Five four liner looks like. Spotters are calling it a five at the moment. We'll see what the official score is. We're looking yeah, at a four point old magnifying no glass might have to come out for that States. one. Could see a point go one way or the other, but. Either way, it looks like USA will maintain the lead going into the final. USA target. had that two-point lead before this end. It looks like it might be something similar. So that bronze to medal. It's very tricky last to no one. End. It's going to belong to the United States or to Great Britain. After a few the line lookers there, Lucy, shot. to sort out, isn't there? Yeah, this is um, so important we'll for the, the, official score is in just a moment. the people right that now, are up at the target the for pull in. They're the ones that really need Britain. to get their arrows checked and get the judge to score it up or down. They have this uh, lovely new thing in target archery where the judge will point up or point down if the arrows are called up, or, you know, higher or lower. So uh, makes it useful for us to see, but we're going to... Wait and see the information on Ian Sayo today. Yes, and at, at this stage, it's provisionally giving the Americans a three-point okay, lead here into this point last. On the official call, yeah. and Great Britain has, uh, I believe, the same call as what was originally made. So we are looking at a 59 for USA and a 57 for GBR for Great Britain. With the final arrows to be shot, it's going to be Great Britain shooting first on the right-hand side. On that, uh, I'm going to call it the Bruce Cull target. It's a tough target. And here is the Bruce Sun 2 is going to play a part again. So we get a look at those targets. So confirming the score at the moment, heading into this last end, is the USA 59, Pat Great Houston Britain to shoot 57. First, team Great Britain. 
question is, is John not tall enough to get the clipboard? Landscape, not portrait, eh, Lucy? Always. Working out that uh, shadow that's needed because that sends right in the face of the shooter. It's, it's tricky as well because obviously they've got their, their sights and the way, their long runs in the way, and we're on an uphill, so getting that clipboard in the right place, very important. Now, it's a low arrow. It's a three. It's a little bit to the left. Everybody is shading that target Most arrows. To the left today. Almost First arrows from shot, the archers have been low. Of the shots have gone to the left side on getting that, that angle absolutely spot on. Here's a tricky. Remember, we're looking at uh, some of the world's best here. In the recurve category, Pittman here, world number two at the moment. Friday Pittman preparing to shoot. And Pat Houston, no mug either. Currently 14, or well, he's been as high as 14. Four or five on that shot. Solid shooting from Bryony Pittman. It's a four for sure. You can that see all the arrows today seem to have gone left. So, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's, it's just based on the cuts and getting that third axis right when you when you set up your bows and things. So, Brady Ellison preparing to shoot. It's tricky. Heather Cole, a top American archer for many years. She's coaching right now. So the Allison just getting adjusted to the sun. Not an easy shot. And a five solid shot from Brady Ellison. One of the few arrows well, on the right. In the context right of where we're at at the moment, that's a that good target. score, Lucy. That, yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with that. That is, today it's been really tricky on that target. Not Come many Savannah. people have, on their He's first arrow scored a five. So today. that just shows how, you know, how experienced he is at not just target archery, but field archery. Absolutely. He's a fantastic uh, archer, no question. And up goes Van der Weer. Whoops, got to get the clipboard in the right spot. And it's a three out the left-hand side. Right where well, the Americans look like they've gained a point with today, one obviously. arrow left each in this bronze medal match. So Houston and Pittman Houston preparing to take his second and final shot for this need to score big here. Medal. With their last arrows of the bronze medal match. Good execution on that shot from Pat Houston. It's four points. No, it's a three, actually. It looked like a better a shot, but yeah, you can see Patrick Houston. He's uh, got his binoculars out. He's, he's checking that over. He looks disappointed. And my apologies. That is a four from Pat. I had the wrong camera shot on that. Sorry about that, folks. Now Pittman with her last arrow. Four points. So GBR, Great Britain, 60, 72 yeah, points. Just not quite getting in the gold zone when they need to. Opportunity for USA the to British take the medal with the next two arrows. They've had such a good, sh like, a whole week, though. So it's a shame. Well, anything could happen. We've got two more hours to go. Brady with a six. Oh, what a way to finish and, uh, it for Brady has, Ellison. Yeah. He's got the maximum score. Bronze medal unofficially. And they have got it with an arrow to spare, too. And Lucy, you could see what it meant to him, too. Yeah, he was he was pumped for that last arrow. And because it's such a tricky shot to get a six, it's that was real good ending. So Van der Weer now to... And victory Finish for the United States of with America. A flourish doesn't really Great matter what his score again. is, but because Great of Allison's six, and uh, it's another medal at international level for Brady Allison. What a match! And Recurve, for Van der Weer, who's bronze, had a story USA career in over Great Britain. compound archery. Congratulations to both teams. Great combination between these two. They've got the bronze medal over and our Great Britain. Bronze medal winners, the United States of America.